White House counsel Don McGahn last year for testimony in the impeachment inquiry against President Trump. McGahn refused to comply. Lindy Kenyon, Washington. County County authorities are looking for your help in finding a hit and run driver kill a pedestrian along Route 130 in Pentawkin early this morning. The unidentified man was found lying in the highway at Terrace Avenue at about 1.30 a.m. Detectives believe the car involved in the incident was an Infiniti sedan that now has a damaged front grille. Anyone with information is asked to contact Pentawkin Police or the County County Prosecutor's Office. High-profile supporters on both sides of a controversial death penalty case are still trading words even after Nathaniel Woods was executed overnight in Alabama. There were questions about his culpability. Woods' co-defendant, who fired the shots, had claimed since his arrest that Woods didn't have a gun and ran away when the firing began. Nathaniel Woods put to death by lethal injection for his part in the 2004 killings of three Birmingham police officers. Prosecutors said Woods lured officers into an apartment where they were ambushed by Carrie Spencer, who opened the fire with a rifle. Woods' sister, Pamela Woods, says her brother didn't fire the weapon and is innocent. Yeah, anything to do with, um, the but Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall says justice was served. Nathaniel Woods, one of two cop killers in the bloodiest day in Birmingham Police Department history, has met his death fate. Martin Luther King III and Kim Kardashian among those who were asking Woods' life be spared before his execution. I'm Clayton Neville. A judge reduced bail to $1 million for the mother of two missing children after her lawyer contended at her first hearing in Idaho that the amount had been set too high because of media attention. Wearing faded orange and white striped jail gowns, a bright pink lipstick, Lori Vallow Daybell spoke little but nodded emphatically whenever her attorneys mentioned her desire to vigorously defend herself against the child abandonment charges. A prosecutor says Lori Daybell had already defied one court order when she refused to take her children to Idaho authorities in February. The judge agreed. The officer said he wanted to closely monitor. 76 eastbound jammed due to a broken down vehicle. The traffic center will have details on that and the rest of the road snack. It's 739. With eyes on the Tudor Expressway from the all new 24 hour traffic center, this is KYW News Radio. Depend on us. When winter weather hits, depend on KYW News Radio for the latest on the road. Quadruple your travel time. There's an incline on the road that you're on. Expect a car to be stuck on it. Coverage sponsored by Pierce Phelps and your local carrier dealer. Heating system down or not performing? Don't break the bank this winter. Get your comfort and savings from the heating and cooling experts at nopaycarrier.com. With financing options up to 72 months with credit approval. Find your local dealer at nopaycarrier.com for details. Carrier, turn to the experts. Balance Patriots. Changing the world one life at a time. It's like night and day, actually, really. When you take this, you hear all these wonderful parables on the radio, but until you do it, you realize that they know what they're talking about, and it's true, because everything is better, as far as I'm concerned, anyway, so... You know, in fact, a friend of mine called me today, and she said, oh, you just went to Pilates, maybe you're tired, you, you don't want to go to lunch. I said, I'm never tired, I take balance with nature. That leads to people serving this whole fruit and can do for you. Right now, Balance of Nature is offering free shipping and 35% off. By calling 1-800-2468-751 or by going to balanceofnature.com and make sure to receive this special radio offer by using discount code DISCOUNT. Armin Cadillac. It's official. For 2019, no one sold more new Cadillac XT Buzz in Montgomery, Chester, and Delaware County than Armin Cadillac. To celebrate, Armin is offering the 2020 $3.99 per month with $9.99. $3.99 per month, $9.99 down. Banking pre-owned luxury, Armin is more than just Cadillac. From Jeep to Lexus, SUV to Sedan, Armin has the right vehicle for you. Shop both new and pre-owned 24-7 at ArminCadillac.com. That's 24-7 at ArminCadillac.com. Cadillac making luxury stylish. Armin making luxury affordable. Armin, home of the $399 XT5 lease. XT5 MSRP, 55,000. Previous owner with only 3,000 miles. Lease is presented. 10,000 miles for your tax tax. And 650 banking. Do it to listen. 
Energy and Reef Oil Fee Rebate Restrictions Apply. Please credit and see in financial offer expires 33120. Hi, I'm Sam Clover for your local Surta Pro Painter. Spring's the perfect time to get your house exterior back to its original beauty while protecting your most valuable investment. I schedule my free estimate and spoke with a professional college consultant. It could have been easier. Call 800 go Serta or online SertaPro.com. This spring, finally take care of the cracked and peeling paint and like me, start loving your house again. That's 800 go Serta or online SertaPro.com. That's Serta with a C. He's Serta Pro Painters business independently owned and operated. Serta Pro Painters, we do painting, you do life. PA contractor number 044525. Just 742, just ahead, there may be heated debate on this study. A session in the sauna works out the heart just as much as exercise. As exercise does. We'll have more on that in the coming minutes. Right now, time for traffic and weather on the two. Back to Justin we go. Okay, so I see if you can clear the accident on 76 westbound at South. There's still jam, though, from the approach of Bear Avenue to the Vines. Farther west, the jam's up again just past Gulf Mills near Henderson Road. Looks like there's a crash off to the right side attracting some attention. Eastbound 76, just a minor volume delay between the contract and curve to Belmont. 95, jams southbound approaching Burke Street down the Gerard Avenue accident blocking the two left lanes. 476, Blue River trouble free, same with the Pennsylvania Turnpike, 422, and the Northeast Extension. Delaware River bridges are quiet in New Jersey, moving at highway speed on the 42 freeway, 295 the Turnpike, and Route 55. Mass Transit not reporting any major problems. Now's the time to try new consistent batteries using the food you love. Buy one month, get one free, plus a week of protein pack shakes. Free at Nutrisystem.com slash radio. That's Nutrisystem.com slash radio. Restrictions apply. Call or see website for details. I'm Justin Dravick in the KW 24 Hour Traffic Center. Now the NBC 10 first alert forecast sponsored by Nutrisystem. Here's NBC 10 first alert meteorologist Glenn Hurricane Schwartz. Tonight. The rain ending by midnight, but there may be some wet snowflakes mixed in, especially north and west of Philly, to low 35. Saturday, mostly sunny, windy and chilly, gusts up to 35 miles an hour, the high 48. Then on Sunday, much warmer with sunshine, the high of 58, and then to 68 Monday. I'm NBC 10 First Alert Meteorologist Glenn Hurricane Schwartz with your most accurate forecast. Count on it. We have rain and 38 degrees at the Radio.com World Headquarters in Center City. Are you hiring? With Indeed, you can post a job in minutes, set up screener questions, then zero in on qualified candidates in an online dashboard. Get started at Indeed.com slash hire. This check on Wall Street is sponsored by CrashProofRetirement.com, where you can see videos of people who have peace of mind with their own crashproof retirement system. Another leg down for the major market averages. The Dow Jones down 256. The Nasdaq down 162. The S&P 500 down 51 in change. Stay connected with KYW News Radio on the Radio.com app anytime, anywhere. Three things to know at 745. If you want to take prevention to the next level on coronavirus anxiety, the CDC will make test kits more widely available. Whilst long bed assumes saunas decrease your blood pressure, new research says a sauna session works the heart like a moderate workout. Recap in our top story. A woman from Delaware County, one of two in the Commonwealth, getting treated as a probable coronavirus victim. That's all ahead in the next 15 minutes. Good evening. I'm Steve Tomlin. Charlie Howard is at the other. Breaking news. On KYW News Radio. Vice President Mike Pence says this evening 21 people aboard the Grand Princess cruise ship off the San Francisco coast have tested positive for the new coronavirus, including 19 crew members. The federal government working with California is on a plan to bring the ship to a non commercial port sometime this weekend. 35 passengers and crew members aboard will be tested for the virus. Today's results come amid evidence the vessel was a, a breeding ground for a deadly cluster of at least 10 cases during its previous voyage. A man on a previous trip died from the virus. On board, everything is closed. No buffet, no casinos. Passengers have been told to stay in their rooms until further notice. Well, the new coronavirus has hit a milestone, infecting more than 100,000 people worldwide. The COVID-19 disease caused by the virus has killed more than 3,400 people, infected people being identified, more infected people identified in more U.S. states 
KYW's Paul Kurtz reports our medical editor, Dr. Brian McDonough, has learned it will soon be easier to get tested. He's been preaching constant hand washing to his patients for weeks. But now that coronavirus has presumably hit the Philadelphia region, Dr. Brian McDonough says he and his colleagues are taking prevention and care to the next level. He just got this message from the CDC. Test kits are going to be much more widely available starting the beginning of next week. And there will be labs that will be doing it in addition to the public health centers. Now, says providers are also taking extreme precautions to avoid getting sick themselves. What we're being told to do is you got to shield your eyes and you have to obviously have a mask. And we actually, when we're taking the uh, samples, we'll be wearing gowns and gloves. So it's almost as if we're going into a surgical procedure. While coronavirus is highly contagious, McDonough says you really shouldn't panic. We're not all going to die, and I think that's the important message. What we are seeing is people who are at higher risk because of an underlying illness or older, they're also at high risk again, and we have to really watch out for them. Uh, that Other people are going to get through it. I'm Paul Kurtz, KYW News Radio. Well, if you want to consider an upside to the coronavirus outbreak here in the U.S., a record number of borrowers can now save on refinancing their mortgage. Mortgage rates have hit a record low, sliding over the continued fears that coronavirus could have a long-term toll on the U.S. economy. The average rate on a 30-year fixed mortgage is now at 3.29%. That's according to Freddie Mac Loans. Now the big question is, will buyers jump in for the low rate, or will fears over the virus keep them out? Maria Garcia, CBS News. Organizers of the South by Southwest have canceled the annual Arts and Technology Festival, saying they're devastated, but that they recognize it's necessary to prevent serious threat of contagion. Mayor Steve Adler announcing a local disaster this afternoon in Austin as a result, partly because of the rapidly spreading coronavirus. <laughs> Sports, sponsored by Stepto. The train is the best way to discover the Riviera. Plan your trip to the 2020 Flower Show at iSteptoPhilly.com slash Flower Show. Here's Sue Schilling. Both the Sixers and Flyers are on tonight. The Flyers are red hot. They've won eight in a row. They'll be back at it tomorrow night against the Sabres at the Wells Fargo Center. The Sixers will wrap up their four-game road from tomorrow night at Golden State. Joel Embiid has resumed on-court basketball activities and will be reassessed on Monday. Embiid reportedly hopeful to return Wednesday against the Pistons. Embiid, of course, has been out with that shoulder sprain. College basketball tonight, Penn is home to take on Cornell in Ivy League play. And at the half, Penn is leading 35-32. to The Phillies continue to great through league play with a 9 nothing win over the Tigers. From Sports Radio 94 WIP, I'm Sue Schilling on KYW News Radio. It looks like there's now a 30-minute delay on 95. Find out where and why with the traffic center next. It's 7.50. It's an uncertain time. Misinformation is all around. Depend on us to keep you informed about the coronavirus outbreak. We have aligned the local officials and experts and the experience to separate fact from rumor. KYW News Radio. You've never needed us more. America is a great big country filled with all kinds of different people. And we all count. That's why the 2020 Census wants to make sure we're all counted. Why is it so important? Because the census helps inform how hundreds of billions of dollars will be spent each year for things like new roads, health clinics, even more school programs. So make sure you count it. Because you count. Shape your future. Start here. Learn more at 2020census.gov. Paid for by U.S. Census Bureau. Navian tankless water heaters, the proven leader in condensing technology. Request a Navian because you deserve the best in endless hot water delivery. Learn about Navian's condensing tankless water heaters and find a Navian contractor at tanklessmadesimple.com.